Hey everyone, Taylor here from Protocase with another Prototech tip. Today I'm going to give you some advice on how to keep your sheet metal parts as cost effective as possible. So, as an account manager here at Protocase, every single day I'm helping my customers get their designs quoted and ordered so that the Protocase team can build their custom enclosures, parts, and panels in two to three days with no minimum order. And the first step in making your vision a reality in your hands is knowing how much it's going to cost. So, let's walk through the scenario of getting your design quoted. We'll start from the beginning, your design files. Our engineering and design services team will use your design files and your requirements to determine how much it'll cost to make what you need. We accept your design files in a wide variety of CAD formats, which are all listed on our website. Of those file formats, SolidWorks Pack and Go is the most common, and it's our preferred format. And here's a tip. If you are creating your design in one of those common CAD softwares, I highly recommend you to check out our CAD template generator. On our website, you can create a custom CAD template for a particular enclosure style with your required dimensions, material, and thickness. It's a great way to start with an enclosure file that fits within our manufacturability constraints and save valuable design time. And if you want to save even more time, why not create your design in Protocase Designer? Our free CAD software makes designing a custom enclosure, panel, or part extremely easy. Everything is templated so you can design what you need in minutes. I especially love Protocase Designer because you can get real-time instant quotes anytime you'd like. It's an awesome way to continually gauge the price of your design as you add more features or finishes. So without further ado, here are my top 8 tips for keeping your costs down on your next custom sheet metal project. My first and most important tip for cost savings is to stick within our stock material thicknesses and components. Our website thoroughly lists all the materials, fasteners, components, and hardware that we stock as inventory. If you use what we keep in stock, you can avoid increased costs and extended lead times. Tip number two, stick to our in-house finishes. Protocase is virtually a one-stop shop for fully finished enclosures, panels, and parts, so we do all of our powder coating, brushing, chem film, graphics, and more in-house. However, there are a few finishes that are completed by a third party, and those would be anodizing and tin plating. If you are looking to cut costs in your design, you should only choose anodizing or tin plating if it's an absolute requirement for your project. Tip number three, when choosing a material that we stock, be sure to choose one that is cost effective. Out of our stock materials, the most cost effective would be our 5052 aluminum or our cold rolled steel. Both of these are pretty much on par cost wise here at Protocase. Copper and stainless steel would be our more expensive stock options. Galvanil sits in the middle. Tip number four, cutouts. You may be designing an enclosure that has hundreds of cutouts for ventilation purposes. Our lasers or CNC routers will need to cut each hole individually. If you are budget conscious, we recommend using perforated aluminum or changing your holes to slots. Not only will this keep your enclosure cost effective, it will also prevent your enclosure from warping. Tip number five, countersinks. So countersinks are a very useful addition to your enclosure or part as it will allow the fastener to sit flush with the metal surface. But if your design has countersinks or counterbores throughout, you may want to consider putting countersinks only where necessary, such as the front panel or anywheres on the enclosure where interference is a concern. Tip number six, let's talk about welding. We offer both spot welding and seam welding here at Protocase. When it comes to attaching the parts of your enclosure together, you can either have them welded or you can use fasteners. If you are budget conscious, we recommend using fasteners for your enclosure unless you have strict requirements for welding. And if your design does require welding, you can opt for a mix between fasteners and spot welding instead of full seam welding for cost savings. And next, tip number seven, masking. If you require a certain part of your enclosure or part to be left bare from powder coat, you will be requesting masking. For minimal cost savings, I would recommend opting for masking only in areas where masking is absolutely critical for your application. Custom masking around a particular fastener would be far more economical than masking the entire face of an enclosure. Finally, tip number eight, quantity. We pride ourselves on being the manufacturer of choice for scientists, engineers, and innovators who only need one custom enclosure, panel, or part. We love making just one of what you need. However, as your quantity increases, your unit price will decrease in virtually every instance. So, if you have a need for more than one enclosure or part, or you feel you may need additional quantities once you nail down your prototype, talk to us. We have a blanket order program that may be a great fit. In the end, it all comes down to your requirements and application. We are building what you need to your specifications. 
The more you communicate with us what you need and what you want in an ideal world, we can figure out the best options for your requirements and your budget. We have prototech tips on several topics that I've touched on today, including anodizing countersinks, perforated and quoting tips. Check out the description below for links to all of these prototech tips. If you have any questions or comments, let us know by commenting below. Thanks for tuning in for this week's Prototech Tip. See you next week.